During a career mentorship call last month, the person that I was mentoring asked me the question, should I be applying to help desk positions instead of cybersecurity jobs? Because people on Reddit said you absolutely have to do help desk before cybersecurity. Interestingly, this question came from a gentleman who's currently working as a registered nurse. But not only that, he managed to finish his CompTIA A+, Network+, Security+, and CESA+, all within the span of six months. Pretty impressive if you ask me. He's an extremely hardworking individual. But to answer this really important question, I had to dig deeper during the call to understand what was really going on. And as I was digging deeper and asking him more questions, I realized that the real reason why he was asking this question is fear. In his mind, he was thinking, how can I compete with people who have done help desk? Maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I don't know enough, even though he's done all these impressive certificates within six months. In this video, I will share with you seven extremely important steps that you can take to not only get ahead of people who have helped desk experience but also get ahead of 99% of the competition in the cybersecurity field as someone who's trying to land their first cybersecurity job. Following these steps will completely change your mindset and how you approach things and frankly speaking looking back at my own journey this is precisely how I managed to overcome and achieve everything I've set my mind to not just in my career but in my personal life as well. Step number one what do you not want? I want you to get a pen and paper and write down exactly what you don't want your life to look like in three to five years time. For example, if you're an accountant, I want you to write down exactly how your day will look like in five years time if you don't do anything. I want you to be as detailed as possible. Describe in detail what your day will look like. Think of all the scenarios that you don't want to happen. Think of the commute to your work. Think of your boss that you don't like. Think of Nancy from admin who's making your life hell. Think of all of these things that you don't want to do in three to five years time. I want you to visualize that and as you're thinking about it, you should feel a little bit uneasy perhaps you feel a little bit angry this is good I want you to get really angry about that imaginary scenario of what you don't want your life to look like remember that anger remember that uneasy feeling because we will harness it and we will use it for the second step which is be so good that they can't ignore you in this step I want you to realize and understand that this vision that we created in step number one the vision that we don't really want I want you to internalize that no one will be able to change that for you except yourself. You are the only person responsible for not making this vision come true. It's not your parents, it's not your partners, it's not your friends, it's not your boss, it's all on you. And the only thing that you have control over is your day. So I want you to make it a priority to work daily on the goal that you have. Whether it's learning to become a security analyst or passing a penetration testing exam, all of these goals come down to your daily action. You wake up every day, you do what you need to do, you go to work, you take care of your family all of this is nice but once that's done then the real work begins which is your daily habit of studying going through those slides doing those labs getting stuck in a lab googling some answers go back study again and again this repetition this ordinary daily action is what will lead you to extraordinary results i've read this book years ago by carl newport called so good they can't ignore you and it honestly has changed my mind it shifted my focus from focusing on silly things like small promotions or he said she said or this certificate versus that certificate instead I focus on honing my craft I focus on learning something new every day and mastering what my day looks like and trust me this ordinary boring studying that you do every day is what will make you extraordinary so much so that you're gonna become so good no one can ignore you and landing your first cyber security job will be inevitable you will get there if you study every day if you don't skip any day no matter how you feel that day no matter what your boss said to you no matter how much sleep you got you have to do the work. Which brings me to the third step, your circle of friends. But before we get into that, a word from our sponsor, NordPass Premium. It's really hard to try to remember different passwords for different services. And if you do that, you probably are using the same passwords everywhere, which can be extremely dangerous because this is how your password can get compromised, which is why I highly recommend using a password manager. If you use NordPass Premium, all your passwords will be stored in one place. So you don't need to memorize different passwords for different services. And using the autofill feature, you can log in faster without the need to type each password individually. And NordPass can generate complex passwords for you automatically, which means the more complex the password is, the harder it is to break, which makes it a lot safer for you to use. Online shopping can be a lot faster because you can also store your credit card information in NordPass Premium, which means you don't need to type your personal information and credit card information each time you want to buy something online. You can also use the exact same account on multiple devices, so NordPass Premium will work on your 
your iPhone and your laptop and your MacBook. You can use the same NordPass account and you can sync it with all the devices, which makes it a lot easier to use. But best of all, go to nordpass.com slash Unix guy NordPass and get exclusive access to their best offer. It's completely risk free and you get a 30 day money back guarantee. Back to the video. Your circle of friends and the people you surround yourself with usually dictates how your life will be. They say we are the sum of the five people that we hang out with. But if you're trying to get your first cybersecurity job, it's really hard to surround yourself with people who are successful in their cybersecurity career. But there is a solution for that. So the fact that you're watching this YouTube video, you get to listen to the stuff that I have to say and other individuals have to say. I also have an awesome community in our Discord server where you can surround yourself with like-minded individuals who are also on a similar journey. So that's another way for you to surround yourself with people who have the same goals as you. But what most people get wrong is the issue that I personally faced when I was a student. When I was a student, unfortunately, I didn't have access to YouTube or any of this new technology. So all my information came from other students who didn't know any better. Sometimes they were one step or two steps ahead of me, or sometimes they were three steps behind me. Either way, they didn't know any better and I didn't know any better. So they started making things up and telling me that I had to do things like A plus and CCNA and all of that stuff. And it was all honestly made up stuff that they heard other students say. And I think the same thing is happening today. It, sometimes you can go to Reddit and you ask other beginners who've done something and they try to convince you that this is the only way. So I want you to be careful who you listen to, especially if you're listening to other people who are maybe one or two steps ahead of you. But in the grand scheme of things, they are still a beginner and they are still learning as well. I will give you more ways to surround yourself with like-minded individuals later in this video. But before we move on, I actually have a very exciting announcement that I've been working on for a while. I've actually created a cybersecurity email newsletter that is absolutely free where I can share with you more tips and tricks on how to land your first cybersecurity job, but also how to succeed as a cybersecurity professional. It is completely free and it's usually stuff that I want to say, but I don't get a chance to say it in the video. Things like how to do in interviews or how to craft a better CV. It's extremely useful. Go to unixguide.com and sign up today. And this brings me to the next step embrace rejection. Trust me, you and I are not the only ones who are afraid of rejection. Universally, most humans are afraid of rejection. Nobody wants to feel rejected. We don't really want people to make fun of us, to judge us. <laughs> Bart looks different today. We don't want people to think that we're not good enough. This is a universal thing. But if you want to get ahead of 99% of applicants who are trying to land their first cybersecurity job, then you have to embrace rejection. This means getting your CV ready as soon as you finish one or two cybersecurity certifications and start applying to jobs right away. Go to the most popular job website in your country that could be Indeed or LinkedIn or Monster Jobs or Seek or Dice. It doesn't matter matter what this website is. In fact, I recommend you get the app on your phone. For example, go to linkedin.com, type the word cyber and then type your city name and filter for jobs. This will send you daily notifications of any new cybersecurity job that's posted. I want you to have a look at the jobs and if you think you can do it or if you think you want to do it, apply to it. Yes, the jobs might ask for more years of experience than you have. They might ask for certifications that you don't have. Apply anyway, because the worst thing that can happen is they send you a rejection email or they don't reply to you or even worse they invite you to an interview and you don't do well and they think that you're not a good candidate and then you go home or even worse you do the interview you do well but you still don't get the job either way all of these terrifying scenarios are things that i encourage you to actively do because this is the only way that you will get confident in an interview setting not only that you will get to know your weaknesses you'll get to improve your communication skills and you can ask the companies hey i'm really interested in this job can you tell me what do I work on? And people usually are more than happy to give you advice. But not only that, you see some people on the internet are under the assumption that anything we write in a job description is an absolute must have. And this is not true. Sometimes when you look for a candidate, maybe we're looking for some knowledge, some competence in certain tools. But more often than not, we're looking for someone who is willing to learn, who has a good character, who is a team player, who can work well with others and who can communicate really well. You see a lot goes into getting a job than just experience and certification. I know I've seen some people on the internet think that, oh, the job is asking for five years of experience and a CISSP. Therefore, if I have five years of experience and CISSP, the job will be mine. Doesn't work that way. So this is an extremely important step. And trust me, no one is doing this. I talk to candidates every day. I interview candidates every day and they are so afraid of applying to jobs. And when it comes down to it, they really are afraid of rejection. So trust me in this one and apply to as many jobs as you can as often as you can, which brings me to the next 
point, make yourself known. Say, for example, you're currently working as a nurse and you work in a hospital. Trust me, your hospital will have a cybersecurity team or an information technology team. Go talk to them, chat with them. They're probably sitting there bored and they will appreciate a nice conversation. Let them know that you're studying for cybersecurity. Tell them that maybe you've done the Google cybersecurity certificate and you're looking for next steps. Tell them that you'd like to shadow them or look for any internship opportunities or just ask them for advice. People love it when you ask them for advice. They will happily try to help you out. And if you are a nurse, chances are you have above average communication skills. Why didn't you bring down that blood sample? Because you didn't give it to me? <laughs> I most certainly did. Well, the next time I have something to give you, you tell me. <laughs> The second thing I want you to do is I want you to create a LinkedIn profile. But once you create that profile, I want you to go and follow all your dream companies and then look for individuals who are doing your dream job and follow them on LinkedIn. Maybe send them a message, connect with them. And you never know. The worst thing that can happen is that they will reject your message or ignore it. But more often than not, people are usually happy to respond to messages, which brings me to the next step, going to industry events. Chances are there are so many cybersecurity events that happen in your city that you haven't heard about. So I want you to look up the following events. I want you to look up the OWASP chapter in your city. I also want you to go to Google and type ISACA events in your city. These events are usually completely free. They meet periodically where you get to meet people who are either on a similar journey as you or people who work in the industry. So this way you can introduce yourself. You can tell them what you do, who you are. And trust me, so many hiring managers go to these events. So it's a great chance for you to make yourself known. There are also more free events on meetup.com. So go to meetup.com and type cybersecurity events and you'd be surprised how many events are run around you. Some of them are associated with certain companies, sometimes with universities. They're always worth attending. But there are also paid events and those can be expensive. However, I managed to go to them for free when I didn't have any money and this is how I did it. I usually look at the event and look who's organizing it and I send them emails and tell them, hey, I'm really interested in attending this event but I can't afford it. I would like to volunteer and help you organize the event if you give me entry. And trust me, people are always short on hand they are more than happy to help you out if you don't have money so some of the events that i recommend you do is a really popular worldwide event it's called b-sides so type b-sides and the name of your city and then you can see when is the next b-sides happening in your city and this goes to even the bigger events like black hat and defcon all of these are extremely important events you will learn a lot but you will also meet people who are on a similar journey as you but also hiring managers i've seen so many people get hired from those events which brings me to the next step which is the most most important step. Discipline is destiny. I don't say this lightly, but this book has single-handedly changed my life. You see every problem you have in, the, in your day-to-day -day life, every goal that you want to achieve, everything that you're disappointed about, it usually comes down to discipline. And to be more specific, it comes down to your ability to resist temptation. The temptation to watch another episode of Netflix, or to play another video game, or to have junk food, or to go out. If you have the ability to resist temptation, you can do literally anything you set your mind to. This is a fantastic book that goes through historical figures but also shows you how more recent figures have also treated discipline and resisting temptation. It becomes especially important when you are a little bit ahead in your journey. For example, you are doing an intermediate certificate and it's a lot harder than the beginner certificates and you feel lost and you're not really sure if what you're doing is worth it. This is where you need to keep going. This is where you need to power through those boring labs, those boring slides. Yes, it's hard and yes, you're not sure if what you're doing is worth it. But trust me there is light at the end of the tunnel if you want to change your life i highly recommend reading this book and if you're interested in taking the first step towards starting a career in cybersecurity, then i highly recommend you follow the roadmap in this video where i give you a step-by-step -step plan to get you from zero to becoming a cybersecurity analyst and i'll see you there